What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Ring, Avid as Ninja Super Hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel, the only channel where you can mix nerdiness and awesome combinations like this one right here that we break down basically every month so you can learn and do it step by step, you know, so that you can do it for whatever reason you want to, whether it's a talent show, a... I don't know, you're just wanting to do it to show off. Whatever it is that you want to do it for, you can do it if you watch all these tutorials. And this is the third episode of this month's comma tutorial combination. Now, you don't technically have to watch these in order because each of these combinations and sets stand on their own. But make sure you watch episode one because this finger roll is super important. You need to be able to be really comfortable doing a finger roll like this. And so if you're not, check out episode one. And of course, if you don't even have a pair of these commas, check out the links down below. We'll have these exact pair linked there, as well as some other options for you guys if you're wanting to get your own pair of commas for some comma fun. I said comma a lot. <laughs> and there's a discount code NINJA10 if you use that at checkout so you can get uh, a discount and 10% off whatever you order. Not just these, but if you order a staff or nunchucks or whatever it is that you want to order. But let's get into the next segment of this combination. So we just finished our last combination, toss, catch, and spin. What we're gonna do is with our left hand, we're gonna step out with our left leg, chop, and punch, just like this. Notice how chop with the left leg step and punch is the rotation onto your front stance going towards that punch. So again, once you catch, it is chop, punch, just like so. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to twist your stance and we're gonna do what I call a block. It's gonna be this motion right here with your, with your comma and your other comma is gonna come underneath just like this supporting your block. So you're from your punch and you're here. So one more time, you've done your toss, spin, chop, punch, other side block. And then what you're going to do is you're, with your right hand, you're going to sweep, chop as you switch your stance and punch as you switch your stance again. Again, this is just bringing it around your head, chop, punch, just like so. Now that's the easy part. We went through it super quick just because I know you guys can do it. So all together, it's gonna look like this. Once you catch, chop, punch, block, chop, punch. From here, your right hand is going to come around in a big circle. And as it comes past you, you're actually gonna do a finger roll on the upward side. So as it passes you, you finger roll up and around. And when you do it all together, it looks kind of smooth and kind of cool. Well, at least I think it looks smooth and cool. If you don't, then I guess that's your prerogative. I don't know. This will be your setup to your behind the head catch. Now, this behind the head catch is a little bit challenging because you have two things in your hand. So it's not like a normal behind the head catch where you don't only have one and you can just kind of catch it off. You actually have to hand off and almost juggle your commas during this combination. So I'm gonna do it slowly and step by step and then kind of speed it up so you know what it looks like. It is very hard to go slow. So probably what I do is show you the trick in slow motion instead of doing it slowly, but you know, we'll see. So what you're going to do is you're gonna to toss your right hand up in a normal forward spin toss. I've done this with swords, with bow staffs, with eskrima, uh, commas. It's just a basic forward toss, just like so. And when you toss it, you're gonna actually aim for behind your ear so it lands right around here. Now with your other hand, all you're going to do is hand off, that's it. It is just a quick hand off. You can either do it together or for speed, you can just toss it there. But you wanna be able to do it basically without even looking. Like you wanna be able to hand off your comma without looking, otherwise it will be very challenging. So if you need to look at your hands to do that catch, 
work on that first before you go into this full trick. Now, once you know how to hand off your comma, you're actually gonna put one of your commas down, like so, and you're gonna work on just the catch. You wanna place your palm, palm up behind your head, and you want your comma to land right in your palm. You don't wanna have to reach back forward or anything like that. You want your comma to land in your palm every time, just like that. Now, once you get used to doing both that and the behind the head catch, once you get used to both of those, then it's time to do it at the same time where you toss, switch, and catch, just like so. Now, once you do end up catching it, bring your hand around and to the hip, just like so, before we go into our next segment for the fourth and final part of this series. Now guys, this one is a little bit hard, so definitely take your time and practice. This trick in particular can be dangerous and scary if you're just throwing it without thinking. So one, make sure you use tricking commas. These aren't gonna cut anybody, which is why I use them and why I suggest them down below. Don't use live blades, because that would be dumb. And uh, just practice, go start slow, start outside. Don't stand on concrete because you might damage your weapons, but just practice on, on the grass or something like that because that's how you get better at martial arts. And as a side note, I also have a Patreon now with awesome perks and stuff like that. So if you wanna get your name shouted out at the end of videos or if you want to um, be a character in, in my comic that I'm working on or a bunch of other perks, that's how you find out, that's how you get involved and it's linked down below like, you know, YouTube does things, so. There, I told you, you know now. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, consider checking out the first episode in this series, cause that's how series works, or check out this other video that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Either way, I'll see you in the next one.